Hi and welcome everyone, I'm Gavin Lon. Okay, so it's time to compare the two titans of the JavaScript single page application technology world, React and Angular. At this point, we have a plethora Would you say I have a plethora? of front-end libraries and frameworks from which we can choose in order to implement our front-end user interactive functionality. Oh yes, <laughs> you have a plethora. Some examples include Blazor, Vue, Svelte, HTMX, and of course, Angular and React. All of these technologies have their great qualities, but of course it's clear that the two most renowned and popular front-end spa technologies on the web today are Angular and React. So when it comes to building front-end UI user interaction functionality on the web, which of these two technologies should we choose and why? Angular or React? At the end of this video, I'm going to wear my heart on my sleeve You're and tell you which of these technologies fun. I prefer and what? why. Please let me know in the comments section which of these technologies you prefer and why. There's no way I can cover all aspects of these two excellent front-end spa technologies in this video. So please feel free to add any important points in the comments section that you feel I should have included in this video. The older of these two front-end technologies is Angular. So let's start by looking at an overview of Angular. We'll then look at an overview of React and then we'll be in a position to compare these two great technologies in a head-to-head -head clash and discuss which of these technologies is the best one to choose and why. Angular was first released in 2010 and was created by Google. The first version of Angular is called AngularJS. Angular version 2 was released on the 14th of September 2016 by Google. At the time, this was seen as a controversial release of Angular by many developers as it introduced drastic changes to the framework. So much so that when referring to Angular version 2 and onwards, the name Angular is now used and AngularJS only now refers to the first version of Angular. In this video, we are only interested in Angular and not AngularJS, which as discussed was the first release of Angular. Angular is a TypeScript-based, free and open source, single-page web application framework created by Google. It is maintained by the Angular team at Google, a community of individuals and corporations. Angular is a complete rewrite of the framework that was done by the same team at Google that built AngularJS. Its primary use is to provide a framework for developers to develop high-performing UI interaction functionality for SPA or single-page applications on the web. Angular is a full front-end framework which provides a consistent structure for developers so that developers don't have to build code from scratch. One of Angular's key features is that design patterns like MVC can be leveraged to provide a clear separation of concerns. Concerns like markup, styling, data, services, and controllers. So that, especially when an application scales, the code remains easy to maintain because individual aspects of the application have a clear single responsibility. So this ultimately provides a framework that fosters cleaner code. Features like dependency injection can easily be leveraged for integrating reusable services into a potentially large number of front-end components. Two-way data binding is available by default in the Angular framework. React is a JavaScript-based UI development library that was developed by Facebook. Its primary purpose is for the use of creating high-performing front-end UI user interactive functionality for single-page applications on the web. React was first released on May the 29th, 2013. A key feature of React is the facilitation of high-performing, responsive UIs, ensured in a large part by the use of a unique concept that comes with React, known as the Virtual DOM, which facilitates front-end component rendering optimizations. The simplicity of React makes it fairly easy to learn. React has huge community backing, as well as a massive selection of third-party libraries, created by other React developers that can be easily integrated into your React applications in order to add rich front-end functionality to your React applications. React applications allow developers to split up the UI into small loosely coupled components, where one-way binding of data is built into React by default, 
one-way data binding arguably makes React applications easier to maintain and understand when compared to front-end frameworks that facilitate two-way data binding. Similarities between React and Angular. Both technologies are open source and primarily used for the creation of high-performing UI user interactive functionality for SPA single-page applications on the web, where the UI is split up into smaller loosely coupled components. Both Angular and React facilitate a component-based architecture. The component-based architecture makes it easier to build and maintain complex UIs, as well as provide the ability to reuse components across the application. Both technologies have large ecosystems that support a wide range of third-party libraries that can easily be integrated into the front-end applications in order to provide rich, responsive UI functionality. Both Angular and React are maintained by large tech companies as well as have huge community support. React is maintained by Meta, formerly Facebook, and a community of individual developers and companies. Angular is maintained by Google, and a community of individual developers and companies. These two technologies are the most popular solutions adopted for providing front-end UI user interactive functionality on the web. Both technologies can also be used for creating cross-platform native mobile solutions. A technology named Ionic can be leveraged to create Angular solutions for cross-platform mobile applications. A technology named React Native can be leveraged to create React solutions for cross-platform mobile applications. Both technologies provide excellent front-end UI user interactive performance on the web. They are both very powerful and efficient tools for building complex and dynamic user interfaces. By default, both React and Angular applications are built as client-side rendered applications, where the entire application logic and rendering are handled in the browser. However, server-side rendering, or SSR, can also be implemented for both React and Angular components. In both React and Angular, state management can be handled effectively through third-party libraries. In React, Redux can be leveraged for this purpose, and in Angular, NGRX can be leveraged for this purpose. Differences between React and Angular. Angular is a full front-end SPA framework, and React is a front-end SPA library. React was the first mainstream framework to use a virtual DOM. A virtual DOM ensures that React components respond in an efficient and smooth way as a result of changes made to a web page made through user interactions with the relevant web page. So, how does the virtual DOM make updates to React web pages efficiently and smoothly? A new virtual DOM tree is created for every component every time it gets re-rendered. React compares the new virtual DOM tree with the old virtual DOM tree and subsequently applies the appropriate transformations to the browser DOM so that it matches the new virtual DOM tree. Angular IV is a relatively new Angular renderer. With the version 9 release of Angular, the new compiler and runtime instructions are used by default instead of the older compiler and runtime known as Vue Engine. Angular IV is the code name for Angular's next generation compilation and rendering pipeline. Angular IV is radically different from anything currently used in mainstream frameworks because it uses what's known as an incremental DOM. The incremental DOM is used internally at Google. Basically, how the incremental DOM works is that every component gets compiled into a series of instructions. These instructions create DOM trees and update them in place when the data changes. React uses one-way data binding by default and Angular uses two-way data binding by default. Angular uses a templated approach for the creation of its components, where a distinct separation of concerns is maintained through well-known design patterns like MVC, Model View Controller, and the factory pattern. Dependency injection is also leveraged to facilitate a separation of concerns between markup code and service-related code, like, for example, code used to make HTTP requests to web APIs. React components are implemented using a unique concept known as JSX, which stands for JavaScript and XML. With JSX, XML is used in React components to represent the HTML markup that is ultimately rendered in the user's browser, and behavioral functionality is meshed 
with the XML code and is implemented through the use of vanilla JavaScript. TypeScript is used throughout Angular applications, and although TypeScript can be used in React applications, vanilla JavaScript is mostly used for the facilitation of behavioral functionality in React applications. The following prominent companies have adopted Angular. Google, Microsoft, PayPal, IBM, Deutsche Bank, Upwork, Forbes, Samsung, Rockstar Games, and The Guardian. The following prominent companies have adopted React. Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, WhatsApp, New York Times, Yahoo, Dropbox, Discord, Uber Eats, Atlassian. Advantages of Angular. Many developers may prefer the clean architecture and separation of concerns that is easily achieved when creating Angular applications. The MVC design pattern and factory pattern are integral to Angular applications. These design patterns effectively facilitate a separation of concerns and ultimately cleaner code. Dependency injection is also available in Angular applications where, for example, services for calling HTTP endpoints can be injected and reused by multiple components across the Angular application. The use of TypeScript in Angular is advantageous for Angular developers because this means that Angular developers can leverage the use of a strongly typed programming language to preempt data type related errors before the code is compiled and deployed into production. So this facilitates better code robustness at runtime. Unique concepts like JSX do not need to be learnt in order to create Angular applications where markup is implemented directly using HTML, CSS is used for styling, and TypeScript is used for the implementation of behavioral functionality. Excellent documentation is freely available that can be used by aspiring Angular developers and seasoned Angular developers to learn and keep up to date with current trends. Angular has a large community base that can help Angular developers with issues that may arise when developing Angular applications. There are many excellent third-party libraries available that can be integrated into Angular applications to provide rich, responsive UIs on the web. The incremental DOM facilitates efficient re-rendering of components and therefore excellent user interaction functionality on the web. So this ensures an excellent UX user experience in Angular applications. There is extensive browser support for Angular applications. Advantages of React React is generally much easier to learn than Angular. React's architecture is simpler in many ways. For example, by default, React supports one-way data binding. The virtual DOM ensures fast re-rendering of components resulting from user interactions with the UI. React is the most popular front-end spa technology around today and therefore has a large pool of excellent third-party libraries available for React developers to integrate into their applications in order to create responsive UIs that are rich in functionality on the web. There are a large pool of React developers that will readily help you solve any issues that may arise with your React applications. There is excellent freely available documentation on React, so it is easy for aspiring React developers to learn React and for seasoned React developers to refresh their knowledge as well as stay up to date with the latest enhancements and features. Small bundle sizes ensure fast and efficient initial load times for React components. There is extensive browser support for React applications. So which of these two popular front-end JavaScript-based technologies do we choose? Now this is a very difficult choice. These are two of the best and most popular spa frameworks available today. So, as promised, I'm going to wear my heart on my You're sleeve tearing me apart. and what? tell you which of these two excellent technologies I choose as my favorite JavaScript-based front-end spa technology. For me, the clear winner is React. The main reason I choose React is because of its innate simplicity, while still providing high performance and powerful functionality. For me, the choice comes down to the simplicity of React. Why make life any harder than it has to be? You could argue that the component architecture is better in Angular, where a clear separation of concerns is maintained using, for example, the MVC design pattern and factory pattern. Dependency injection is also extensively used in Angular applications, ensuring a clear separation of concerns. Dependency injection also facilitates better unit testing. 
As an application scales, the clean architecture facilitated in Angular applications will no doubt pay dividends. I still, however, prefer the simplicity of React. I know many developers say that React has a performance advantage over Angular, but I also know that many Angular developers would dispute this. In Angular's favor is the use of TypeScript. Being a C-sharp enthusiast myself, I much prefer working with strongly typed languages than, for example, a dynamically typed language like JavaScript. So the use of TypeScript is a clear advantage. As discussed, what is most attractive for me about React is its simplicity. One example of React simplicity is the use of one-way data binding. The steeper learning curve involved in learning the more complicated Angular also makes React a better choice, in my opinion. A continuous journey of discovery and learning is an integral part of every developer's life. One of my most treasured guiding lights as I progress in my journey as a developer is this well-known quote from Albert Einstein. Keep it simple, but no simpler than it has to be. Those are my thoughts on why I ultimately prefer React to Angular. However, at the same time, I acknowledge the great qualities in Angular. So please let me know in the comments section which of these technologies you prefer and why. If your company is hiring developers for the creation of a greenfield project and your choice is between hiring Angular developers or React developers, it will be far easier to find skilled React developers than Angular developers. If, for example, your company needs to build a complex front-end application that needs to be highly scalable, Angular can be a great choice because its architecture is great for creating a separation of concerns and therefore this can result in cleaner, easier to maintain code. However, due to the complexity of Angular in comparison to React, this may also mean that extra time and cost may be needed to create your application. React is far simpler and easier to learn, and therefore this may save you time and money when developing your project. Another factor to consider is what skills you already have at your company. If you already have TypeScript and Angular skills, Angular could be considered. However, if you have a greater number of React developers already working at your company, I would strongly recommend React due to the time and cost this may save you when developing your project. So as an aspiring developer wanting to learn either React or Angular, salary might be your criteria, in which case I recommend researching the companies in and around your area in which you live and what these companies pay React and Angular developers. Of course, if you want to make yourself stand out and be far more marketable as a developer, you can learn both Angular and React in which case I strongly advise you to learn React first. As discussed, React generally takes less time to learn than Angular, and you can learn the fundamentals of how SPA applications work before learning the more complicated of the two front-end technologies, Angular. It may just come down to personal preference. You may just prefer the way one technology looks over the other. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Please also ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this through my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. I've recently joined X, formerly Twitter, so it would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lawn Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care. <laughs>